Taloria Gant sat in the living room of her southeast apartment this morning and could not stop the tears as she talked about her son. He never been in no conversation. He never been locked up. He never had a jaywalking ticket. He just was one of them kids that I just try to raise a sweet young man in the city. That's it. That's all I try to do as a single mother, raise my children. The apartment walls are covered with pictures of Brandon in uniforms and cap and gown. Awards for him and his siblings are everywhere. From the time I gave birth to Brandon, he was one of the cutest, sweetest little baby boy. He always got a smile on his face. He was always happy. Around 3.30 in the morning of September 6th, D.C. police found Brandon shot inside his mother's Toyota Corolla near the intersection of 18th and Minnesota Avenue Southeast. Police say a driver cut him off and as many as two gunmen stepped out and opened fire. Brandon survived for two days before he passed away. Police are working on a theory the 23-year-old mover, or even the car he was in, may have been mistaken for someone else. News 4 has obtained video just released by D.C. police showing what investigators believe is the car the shooters were riding in. The morning he was shot, Brandon's mom thinks he came to this gas station here on Minnesota Avenue to fill up her tank and to buy some allergy medication. She believes that he actually made it here because when the police found his car, it was pointed in the direction as if he was heading home. Like I said, my brother wasn't in the street. No, no kid, no, no man, no woman, no child deserved to lose their life. To lose their life at any means necessary. So for him to be taken away from us is, like I said, it's devastating and unacceptable. DC police say after the funeral, detectives were putting up flyers in the neighborhood where Brandon was killed, and someone came up behind them and tore them all down. My heart was broken. They took everything from me when they did this. Everything from me. On October 14th, Taloria and her family plan to have a march and rally. They all want justice for Brandon. In the district, Paul Wagner, News 4. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 5. The just Lord, Yahweh, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Call Hulayam La, Albanawa Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Radash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5 The just Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is in the midst thereof He will do he will not do iniquity every morning do he bring his judgment to light he faileth not but the unjust knoweth no shame And if you took heed to that precept it said the just okay the just righteous balance Okay, powerful, merciful Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is in the midst thereof, man, and he's he's uh doing his will every single day, bringing forth righteous, balanced judgment, man. Okay, because also as it says in Proverbs twenty-eight verse five, the the uh, the the wicked don't understand ju judgment, man, but we understand all things. Okay, because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai requires that which is past and also which is now. OK, because our people are corrupted. They, they live a wicked, uh, filthy, uh, unrighteous life. OK, they go off the own, their own imaginations and justification and glorification of their own heart, which is your mind. OK, our people don't reverence fear or, 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 or and damn sure is not obedient to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And that's why when he's bringing forth these judgments every day, they're just and the Lord cannot commit iniquity. OK, the heavenly father who created everything that we see amongst us is righteous. OK, period, man. OK, and as it also states, man, the unjust, which is our people, two thirds of our people know no shame. And as you hear the mother, I try to raise a sweet little boy. He is innocent. Hey, man, look, he ain't innocent, man. 
He ain't innocent in the eyes of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's also another problem too. These mothers trying to raise sweet little boys. When Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is raising up men. Where is his father? How come his father is not in the interview? How come his father is not in the picture? How come his father is obviously not around, man? So goes, uh, this, this also goes back to the curses, man. Deuteronomy chapter 28, man. Okay, but let's grab Job chapter 4 real quick. Because nobody perishes being innocent, man. Nobody, man. Okay? This is the book of Job chapter 4. I'm going to start off at verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. So, just to let you know, moms, your son is not innocent. He may not. He may have not been telling you everything that he was involved with in his life, man. And furthermore, this is D.C., man. This is this is uh, 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 our part of our part of the uh, neck of the woods, man. Okay. Hey, look, man, Jake. It's it's nothing but a, a whole bunch of pure fucking niggas in D.C., man. I mean, pure fucking niggas, man. No morals. Okay. No knowledge. No wisdom. No understanding. No integrity. No anything, man. Just all emotions, like a woman. Okay. Pure a uh, 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 black culture, as they state and say. Okay, nothing but wick wickedness and madness in in, in D DC, man. Okay, that's what we preach at. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? So this young man in the eyes of Yahweh Shem was was not damn sure innocent, and obviously was not righteous, man. Because the Lord said in uh. Let's grab that real quick. Now I'll jump back to Job 4. The Lord said this right here about his righteous, his elect. Grab this real quick. Bear with me. It's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no torment touch them. No torment, no judgment. Okay? Period, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is going to have mercy upon the ones that come back to him, that reverence him, that repent daily, that are obedient as they can be in this wicked, corruptible flesh, that follow the guidelines and the structures and the ordinances of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And two thirds of our people don't do that. They live as that do as thou wilt spirit, man. They, they have the spirit of Babylon, okay, which means confusion. Our people are confused. Okay, they lean and 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 run to the oppressor for all their uh uh, uh your, um words of right on my tip of my tongue edification, okay, information, everything, man, everything, man, okay, point blank, period, man, all right, okay, matter, matter of fact, uh, Sirach chapter seven. Starting off at verse one, do no evil, shall no harm come on to thee. Okay, and, and again, our people commit wickedness every day. Our people, you know, transgress against Yahweh, Shimi Hawashai, and literally think there's no recompense for their actions, man. And that's why you see a lot of Israelites dropping left and right, whether it be a, a child, a toddler, a baby, a, a man, a teenager, a woman, a, t a, a, a young woman. Okay, the Lord, the Lord is not biased, man. Okay, when it, when it, when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. Point blank, period, man. Okay. All right. So again, man. Sirach twelve verse three. There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. Not people are always occupied in evil, man. Regardless of what what, what the family members are saying, man. He looked like he a nigga too, man. Look at this Jake, man. Look at this Jake. He looked like he looked like he about to go smoke a blunt right after this interview. He probably, probably already got it rolled up. Okay, with, with, a, with a bottle of 1800. Or uh, what do they call it? Uh, Costa Migos. Okay? But back to Job chapter 4. I'm going to read verse 7 from the top again. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off, even... As I have seen, they that plow iniquity, now iniquity is sin upon sin, transgression upon transgression. And that's what our people do, commit every single day, man. It's iniquities, man. So guess what? It was it was your son's time to go. He's he's not precious. He's not a sweet little boy. You should not be raising no fucking sweet little boy. You should be raising an austere man. Again, where is the father? Why is the father not in the interview uh, uh, making reverence and... Uh, 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 
professing about his uh, uh, relationship with his son. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. So you reap what you what you produce. You reap what you sow, man. Okay? Our people do this shit all the time. Man. Every time somebody in their family get clapped, they always talking about how good they was. Man, they was a fucking demon, man. Y'all about shit, y'all shot don't make no damn mistakes, man. Okay? And he's he's gonna he's gonna do all all types of things to show forth his judgment, man. Matter of fact, let's jump to Jeremiah real quick. He's gonna use two thirds to bring forth judgment to two thirds. He's gonna use heathens to bring forth judgments to two thirds too, man. Okay. Point blank. Period, man. Give me one second. Bear with me. Okay, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter seven, starting off at verse twenty-three. But this thing commanded I them, saying, "Obey my voice." Okay, because you have the prophets. Uh, heavy, heavy on the social media platforms. You have the prophets heavy, heavy on the highways and the byways. And again, this is D.C. We are out there in D.C. We have four camps in D.C. every Saturday, man. And then, you know, uh, every other week, brothers go out and prophesy in, in, in midweek, which is a Wednesday, a Wednesday or Thursday, how, how, however they, uh, you know, fit it in their schedule. OK, so there's no excuse. All these jakes know about the truth they hear the truth man but what do they do they scoff and they mock at it man but this thing i command them saying obey my voice and i will be your power and ye shall be my people and walk ye in all my so like in all the ways that i have commanded you that's so that's not just saying repent confess that jc is your lord and savior and then go back to eating a goddamn ham sandwich you know committing adultery with your neighbor's wife out here slinging drugs Okay, out here with, with some damn uh, uh, Shiva Jatas, aka shit locks on your head, you know, uh, 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 defiling your body. Also, too, by uh, uh, doing uh, uh, narcotics, you know, uh, uh, smoking weed and uh, uh, other stuff, too, man. Okay, you can't you can't half ass this truth, man. You, you, you either all in or you're just going to be in the world wait to be judged, man. I will be your power and ye shall be my people and walk ye all the ways. So like in walk ye all in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. OK, because again, why is the Lord saying that? Let's grab a precept, man. I'm going to tell you why about speaking the precepts, man. Why you how about Shimmy Habashai is saying that, man? Why he's stating that fact? Bear with me. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 35. For whoso findeth me, okay, that's Yahweh. For whoso findeth Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. But those that reject what we just read, Okay, those that just reject Proverbs 8 and 35, and the Lord just said right here in, in, in Jeremiah chapter 7, the last precept, that it may be well unto you. Okay, because he said, walk ye in all my ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. But those that reject the, the customs and the, and the uh, 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 commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Proverbs 8, verse 36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they, all they that hate me love death, man. And that's what our people love. They love death. They love mayhem. They love chaos, man. Okay, they get a, in, in the adrenaline rush. They get excited. They 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 feel like it's uh, uh, fruits bringing uh, forth fruit to their life, bringing forth uh, what's the word that they say? Uh, Salakia. We'll do. We'll just say fun. Okay, excitement. But back to Jeremiah chapter seven, verse twenty-four. But they hearken not, nor incline their ear, but walk in the counsels and in the imagination. Of their evil heart and went backward and not forward, man. And that's what our people are doing right now until this day. Way worse than they were doing in those other captivities that we were in. Because this is the last and most worst captivity we have ever been in. And this is the worst our nation has ever been. Okay, and this in this captivity, one thing that we can state and say that we don't we, we didn't know who we were. The Lord had to wake us up to edify us and teach us who we were. All right. But back to Jeremiah chapter 7. I'm going to jump to verse 16 real quick. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, 
neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. So the Lord commands us not to pray for two thirds, man, because these were the same wicked Israelites in, in the land of uh, when we came out of the land of Egypt. And and, 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 and you know, in the time of Yahweh Shah, the time of Jeremiah, Ezekiel, that always killed the prophets. These are the same niggas living right now, man. And these are the same niggas that want to put us to death. Even, even Jake's that profess and claim they're in the truth. These are the same niggas, man. We pray for the ones that, uh, 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 you know, that are of the brotherhood, that agree on the doctrine. We agree on everything when it comes to these scriptures, man. Those who, those are the ones we pray for. We don't pray for two third niggas, man. Okay, but the point is made, so let's close out. Because, man, this is what our people's about, man. Because like I said in, uh, earlier, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to use two-thirds of our people to take out two-thirds of our people. He's, he's going to use heathens to take out our people. And, you know, he's going to do he, he's going to do however he wants it to wants it to be done, man. Okay, so this is Isaiah 59. I'm going to start off at verse 7. Their feet run to evil. And they make haste to shed innocent blood because, as she said, her son was innocent, right? I mean, you know, he, I don't know what type of lifestyle he was in. And obviously, for him to get gunned down like this out of, out of nowhere, obviously, you know, his mother and his brother didn't know what type of lifestyle he is. Or maybe his brother does know, but doesn't want to say it, which that's how our people are, man. No snitching. Okay, if you snitches get ditched, snitches get put in ditches, snitches get stitches, all that bullshit. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. And those, and those are those two jakes did that ran up on him, man. Lit his ass up in that car. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, okay? Transgression, okay? As, as, as the law says, thou shalt not murder, man. Okay, we're supposed to not seek revenge. We're supposed to put everything in the hands of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. All right? Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their paths. Because that's all our people know. Because again, our people have cleaved onto the customs of the Edomites, man. That's the, ment the, the mentality and the structure and the ways of the Edomites, man. Destruction. Okay? The destruction, wasting. That's, that's in their upbringing. Okay? That's literally in their upbringing. Destruction. Uh, uh, wasting everything in their paths, man. Okay? Verse 8. The way of peace they have not so like the way, the way of peace they know not. Okay, again, this is our people, man. And these are the customs that they have taken from Esau, man. Okay, because our people don't want to know peace. They want to know uh how to live uh, uh, uh rebellious and how to be a uh, savage in a in a, in a uh, what, do they, what do they say uh, I'm a beast. Okay? The way of peace they know not. And there is no judgment in their going, no judgment in their going, no logical thinking, man, no uh, examining things and correctly uh, weighing the matter, man. OK, because, again, I don't know what this dick was into. His mama don't know. His brother probably know. All right. And it's like his mama might know, but just saying this, just, you know, speaking bullshit. OK. There is it's like a, uh, the way of peace. They know not. And there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. And, and hey, look, as it says in Isaiah, what, uh, 28, uh, 48, I want to say, roughly, somewhere in that chapter, there is no peace. Slack is right here in front of my face. In a different chapter, Isaiah 57, verse 21. There is no peace, saith my power to the wicked, man. So there's no peace to the, to the wicked, man. Okay, to the wicked, uh, the actual wicked Esau, and to the actual wicked of our people, man. So again, man, this this is judgment from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, and this is how it's going to be done, man. Those of us that seek Him and uh, are, are obedient and doing what what is told, you know, we're going to be protected. We're going to be guided, man. We're going to be directed in the light and not in the darkness and not led to our destruction. Out of one Ratiza. But every day, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah brings forth His light to the judgment. Okay, and and the, the matters of death. Are made and came from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Psalm 68, verse 20. Okay? It's a sad story that our people have to go out like this. But hey, man, as we say, let the will of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakradash be done. Amen. Point blank, period, man. And I hope and I pray that this is edifying and uplifting and informative and terrifying. 
to the true sincere Akim Wa Akwaf. So with that, I'm just going to say, Call Hulayim La, Al Banawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Rakakradash, Watha Wada, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Rakakradash, for putting the spirit on me, my elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down, for doing these epistles to enlighten you, to inform you, to edify you, and uplift you through the power and spirit of Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai. May the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household. I don't want Ratsaza until the next one. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.